Can we shoot this bloke? Hello, everybody. Can we shoot this guy? Look what he's trying to do. He's trying to take over my favourite song. I've been everywhere, man. Goo, Roo, Animation. Look, he just dobbed himself in. He's saying he's at Wallera. He says he's up there at Wollongarra. That's not even that Wollongarra. Oh, God. Give me a bullet. Quick, shoot him. Put him out of his misery. There's a mirror. What's that? Nah, I'm all right. Uh, now let's watch the real one. This is the part he forgot. Right. I was humping my bluey. A bluey is a swag bag on your back. On the Udna Dada Road is in Central Australia, which is where the Garn, the Afghan, Garn, train used to run from Adelaide to Alice Springs before they moved the railway line. Udna Dada. God, this guy didn't even say it. Oh. Steve Udna Dada rode when along came a semi with a, a high act. Steve Udna Dada rode when along came a semi with a high act. Okay, a semi is what the Americans you call a uh, tractor trailer, a semi, -tra semi, semi detachable, like you know, one, two, semi. Oh, well, anyway, with a canvas covered load, which means it's you know, you can lump a canvas out of the top to keep so your load doesn't fly off. Canvas covered load. Uh, if you're going to work in a data, mate, um, with me, you can ride. So I climbed in the cabin and I settled down inside. He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand. I said, listen, mate, I've traveled every road in this hill land. Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, fair man. I've breathed the mountain, fair man. I've traveled, I've had my chair, man. I've been everywhere. Tell them all, see more, live more, move on, and more, more, reach it all, kill more, more, my birds will, and my bill, wall bill, call them all. All right. Back up. Back up. Back up. Been to Tullamore, been to Seymour, been to Lismore, been to Balulabar, been to Nambour, been to Maroochydore, been to Kilmore. I used to live at Mawalabar. I have not been to Birdsville. I haven't been to Emmerville. Can I look up where that is? Wallaville. Yeah. Kalamulla. You know where Kalamulla is? It's up there in Northern Territory. Condamine, Strat Point, been there. Prosser Point, Northern Queensland. Aladala down the south. I've already said all this. Oh, I hate these guys. I try to take every guy's favourite song. Is it annoying? I've been to Darwin. Of course, that's a capital of Northern Territory. Virginia, and I've been there. I even got a ticket for $22. <laughs> 1979, I got a speeding ticket for $22. <sighs> I paid it 25 years later. <laughs> oh, that's another story. That's west of Bundaberg, and I was living in New South Wales, and Bundaberg's in Queensland. That's just down the road where they make the Bundy rum. Gin gin. Oh, by the way, we have, you know, gin and tonic? Well, it's got nothing to do with it. Dinilic in South West and New South Wales, Muggabilla, Wallabilla, Bogabilla, been there. Cumber Barilla, been there. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. 
Just as a spare man, I breathe the mountain air, man. I've traveled, I've had my chair, man. I've been everywhere. Tari, yeah, got one there on the train. Tari, yes, I've been to Moray. I did the Moray to North Star Rail Line. Drill Railway Line, I've done that one too. Bamboo, been there too. And to Woomba, yeah, I did the Toowoomba Flower Festival. Go and have a look, go and Google it. Toowoomba has a great big flower festival. Woolish, you know. And I went to my showbag trailer. Yeah, my showbag. I sell all the showbags, you know, lollies and cap guns and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, Gunnada, you could have been out of Gunnada, it's out that way, way, way towards Dunny Do and out there towards, you know, oh, anyway, carrying bars down there, Danny Crandala, of course I've been down there, I drove a cab, Willa Maloo, I dug all that on my channel, Dolbean been there, Tambourine up there in Queensland, been there, Ingerdine, Ingerdine, Heathcote Waterfall, yeah, I used to live at Ingerdine, I used to also live at Heathcote, and Gin Devine, of course I've been down there, I took my... Holden Kings went out there in the backyard. That went all the way down there to Ginderbine. We went down around there to the ski pools, along with the blue EB Ford, 1993 EB Ford. That went down to Ginderbine. And Ingerdine, both of them. And Lifco. <laughs> Uh, casino, I just went up there on the train to Casino, Brigolo, been there too, Narrabine, I went out there because that's where the Dishes Road Lines run off, went out there, Megalong, been out that way too, and Wyong up the Central Coast, of course I've been to Wyong, it's where Georgina lives, hi Georgina, how are ya? Tuggerawong, of course I've been there. Wangarella, well if you don't know where Wangarella is, you go look up, and Morella, or Gathella. You gotta look up where Augustella is. Ooh, ooh, that'll really blow your brains out. You gotta look up where all. Don't say I haven't been to bloody Brenda Bella. <laughs> oh, it's gone. I'll put it back in the fridge. I was drink... You get down and look on the channel. I was drinking my Brenda Bella wine before. Yeah, crude on bear water for me. Isn't she good? No, she didn't. No. Oh, I rock out. Wollongong. I know it spells Wollongong. It's pronounced wool, like bah, sheep. G Long in Victoria. Carajong up there where got me. You want to see Carajong? Would you really want to see Carajong? You really want me to prove that I've been to Carajong? You really want to really, really, really want to see Carajong? And Malambimbi? All right, I'll show you both. Carajong and Malambimbi. I've been there. Right. This is Carajong. Ew. There you go. That's up a Carajong. It hasn't got a sign on it. You think I'm that stupid? You think I'm going to tell you, tell you where the house is? Ooh, is that pretty? Yeah, that's Carajong. Yeah, yeah, of course I've been to Carriage on. Okay. Right, that's it. That's all you're going to see. Get off. Have I been to Moorland Bar? What do you think that is there? Look, you know, party Moorland Bar to Casino. Look, see, Moorland Bar and Casino. Ooh, of course I've been there. And a Wallangara. And Tenerfield and Glen Innes and Ian Burrell. Which is out there towards Moree. And a Wagga Wagga. Hmm, she's, I don't know. Hang on a minute. See, look, Moorland Bar Railway. Don't you be the bloody Moolamba? Mm. Want to see it? Have a look. Here we go. Moolamba. Just for you to so prove. another, plus the old section that used to go up to Condor Hill. And that section as well. And... and... Where's the sign? Hang on. Hang on. I signed it for you. I made this and just... you got all this... I made this just here. especially for and you. What? You don't think I've ever Jim been to Moolamba? Look at that. Look, we're cleaning up the Wollamba. See, we're actually cleaning up the Wollamba itself. Look, see? Why doesn't our state premier come up here and clean up the Wollamba like we just do? Look. Because I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Don't you know? Don't you've been a bloody Wollamba? Ooh, ooh. Just up the road is Stoke Siding and Barring Bar and Batlow. And Bangalow. Yeah. There's more casino. There's more casino, Bangalore, Byron Bay, yeah. Brunswick Heads, yeah. Little short one minute videos. I've been everywhere. Where, man? man. I've been everywhere, mm -hmm. man. See, That's I can say I've been there. See, look, I got the body proof, not like that. Goose. I've been to 
Maxville, look, look, look. Look, Maxville. Look, I've been on the train to Maxville, which means I've been through Tyree. I must have lost a video on it. Maxville, since I'd have been there. I don't know, all these people that say they've been somewhere, they haven't been anywhere. I've been everywhere. Of course I have. You know I think Burring Bar's in the song too, isn't it? Look, I've even been to Burring Bar. Ooh. See, Burring Bar. I'm sure that's in the song. And look, I've even been to Byron Bay. Look, there's a Byron Bay solar power train with e and I Rock was trying to drive. Because Ian was trying to buy it. Look, e and I Rock was trying to buy the yellow, buy the bloody solar power train in Byron Bay. Oh, I don't know. What am I going to do with that old rocket? It's shocking. Keep him out there in Illinois. Shocking. Now, you can't really say I haven't been down there to Willamaloo because that's a Coca-Cola sign at King's Cross. And King's Cross is just up the hill there from Willamaloo. Just to prove a point, I'll show you Willamaloo. Oh, look. Is this Willamaloo? Oh, is it? I wonder if this is Willamaloo. It's got nothing to do with the Bellfinder Road. Where am I? Because it's got a Foster sign. It's a Bell's Hotel. Where's the Bell Hotel? Willamaloo. Yeah, Willamaloo. Look. Screw it on. Screw it on. Let's go and see. Look, let's have a look. Cut across the road, look. U double O double L double O M double O L double O. Woodland Maloo. There you go. Mmm Woodland Maloo. Willamaloo Bay Hotel. So don't you mean a bloody Willamaloo? Why don't you tell boobies? I don't do I'm not one of these dickheads who gonna make up a song that I'll say, I've been everywhere, man, if I haven't really been there. I'm not going to use that song unless I've really been there. Haven't I, Crudon? That's all right. So even Crudon Bear, she, she can vouch for me. And she's out there in Houston, Texas. Look, there's even the bloody screws in the ground. Look. Yeah. Look at it. That's Willamaloo. Right, let's get back to it. Get off. Get out and watch the video yourself. Right, now let's try all that again. Oh, wait a minute. All right, okay. I'm going to put you through all that agonising. Oh, that'll do. Been everywhere. Tell them all the more. Been there, been there, been there. Been there. Been there, been there, been there. Been there, 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 been all there. That's why my crude on me likes me, don't you, crude on? Over there in Houston, Texas. I'm a little Aussie wanderer. I wander around Australia just for crude on bed. Yeah, been a prune. Wallangara? You what? You really? No, I'm not going to You get a look at my channel, you see Wallangara. <laughs> get a channel, you see Parramatta. Been there. Let's put the brakes on. All right, all right, all right. All you marijuana smokers, you watch this one. You smoke marijuana, you watch this. I'll tell you a story on this. You're going to laugh about this. I was sitting in a courthouse one day in the city, and this guy wanted to go home and bail. And the judge said, whereabouts is home? He said, Your Honour, I live at Wooden Bong. You know, like when you smoke the... You smoke the marijuana, Wooden Bong. And the judge turned around and said, you put on my leg. Do you do really think oh, I'm going to really take you, send you home, give you bail to go home to a town called Wooden Bong? Does it really exist? You know, the police prosecutor had to walk out, out in the office in the courthouse, walk back in there with a, with a phone book. And sure enough, inside the phone book, there was wooden bong with a postcode on it. And the judge said, I never thought there'd be a town named Wooden Bong. He thought the guy was pulling his leg. He thought I was pulling his leg. I was trying to get this young guy bail. <laughs> and I've been to Wooden Bong. It's a lovely town. you got to go to the casino. you go north of the casino. And now I'll call Mr. Hominoid. Now, if you are in the Hominoids, Bigfoots, Yowies, Yetis, Sasquatches, go and look up Wooden Bong on Google Earth. Go and have a look at Wooden Bong. 
and you see the main emblem of the town is a yowie. That's right, Woodenbong has a big yowie story, and yowies go in there all the time, so if you like yowies, you're going to have a look at Woodenbong. Ooh, actually, let me show you the story right after the end of the music. It'll have been to Ballarat, and of course, it'll been down to Canberra, and of course, I've been to Milpera. We drove a cab. Of course, I've been to Danny Nong and Edelong. Ugh. All right, you funny buggers. Whereabouts is Captain's Flat? Now, you all think Captain's Flat. You think, oh, Captain like a ship that's down next to the water. <coughs> You're wrong. Go look at Goulburn, G-O-U-L-B-U-R-N, Goulburn, New South Wales, with the big <coughs> ram is. And look south of there and you'll see Captain's Flat. It's the name of a town inland inside a valley. And he used to have a railway line there, now it's gone. Ooh. Clon Curry, River Murray, Curry Curry. You like Curry Curry? You know Curry, like but with a C? Well, this is Curry Curry with a K. This is up there near Maitland. And Girawin is down there near Blacktown, where all the black people live. Actual fact, Blacktown's original name was Town of the Blacks. And then they changed it to Blacktown for the Aboriginals. And now it's black with all the black Indians and black Africans and black every other nation. I don't care that you're black, I'm just saying. It's gone from one, one breed of black to another type of black. There's very few white people there left there. So if you go to black town, don't expect to see very many white people. Put them on your leg. Now, of course there's white people there, you sausages. Oh, Jesus, you sucked in, didn't you? Anyway, Girawain is next door to Blacktown. Then there's Terrigal up the Central Coast. Fingal's up there near Tweedhead. Stocking, Stock, Stock, Kin, <laughs> Stocking Bingle is out there west, out there past Parks, down there towards Forbes, out that way. Narrabeen's on the northern beaches. Bendy goes down there in Victoria. Oh, Dorigo. Dorigo Railway Museum. That's up there in the mountains up there directly west of uh, Coffs Harbour. Bangalore's up there around the corner there from Byron Bay. Indrabilly's in the city of Brisbane City. Kirribilli is where the bloody Prime Minister lives, you bloody wallies. Kirribilli House. You've all heard about it even over there in America. Bloody American President come out here to Australia met the Australian Prime Minister at Kirribilli House. Uh, oh, that one, yeah, that one. Oh, see the name of that town? That's you. You're, you're, you are a year wrong, but Billy. Oh, not a one on Dilly. So don't be silly. Now, this is Ian Iota driving his car around the back of Illinois. This is him. You ready for it? Okay, mate. You've been every place except one. And Chicago. <laughs> Uluru. That's where Ian, Ian I Rocker hasn't been. Uluru. 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 What? Uluru. Oh, Ian. Ooh. See, look. I told you you've been to Brenda Bella. See, look, Brindabella Hills. That's point. Look at that. Ooh, that's a good drop. Crude on bear boy with that. Jeez, you good, good lady. Would love my crude on bear. Udna Dada. Right? You see the name? O O D N A D A T T A. Right? Udna Dada. You want to know where it is? Right there. Yep. Right there, where I Rocker is going to go and have a holiday, and everybody else, and Crouton Bear's going to move out there. She said, yes, yeah, she'd love to take the teddy bears out there. But bloody hell, you will. Now, you want to really want to see Udna Dada? You check this out. This is how big Udna Dada is. You want to really, oh, mate, you're going to love what's in this. This is the township of Udna Dada. I was hitting me road with me bluey on my back, and a semi-trailer come through to pick me up. Now do you see why? This is what I'm trying to explain to you. That is Udna Dada. That's all it is. There's nothing there. There's the old railway line. Now this I'll show you I'll show you I'll show you the old train. How much have I live in Udna Dada? 
Hey, how would you want to live out here, people? I'll give you that stupid ad. Hey, this is Udna Data. This is out in the middle of nowhere. This is out in the middle of the desert. <laughs> look, a lone Aboriginal is sitting there in the park. And look, there's no grass. <laughs> oh, man, you think Australia's barren? Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, boy. You don't know how lucky you got it. Ooh. Want to have a look at it in the data? Ooh, look at that. That's a local club. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Any neighbours? <laughs> now you know what the bloke said. Is he talking out of Udna Data? <laughs> There's no one out there, man. Look, it's Udna Data. That's what Udna Data's all about. You, th you think of some town like in Los Angeles or California or... <laughs> <laughs> I got news for you, sweetheart, and it ain't pretty. <laughs> <coughs> right? how, how would you really like live out there, right? right? Do you, you really think being like Mr. Hominoid? These are the sorts of places I go to, to all, all my new subscribers. This is where I go to when I was younger. I've already been all these places. <laughs> hey, Ian I Rocker. Hey, let's, I know, let's come grab my Rocker, Ian I Rocker and, and uh, Pedro, and we'll see how much he likes it out there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a railway line there, and they, they took it away. You know why they took it away? Because <laughs> it floods. <laughs> what? Yeah, because it floods, man. It floods. See, see, see the water? Can you see it? That's where it floods. That's right. All that big stuff there, that's where the flood waters come down. When it rains up there in North Queensland and Northern Territory, and all floods right down through there in the middle of Earth and Nevada, and that's where they had to get rid of the rowing line, see? Now, everybody turn around and says, oh, my God, see, see what it is? Look, it's a big... Yeah, it's something like your um, in America. It's something like your oh, what's that? Um, blah, 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 blah. One of the deserts out there. You know, you see the water come running across the desert. Yeah. Anyway, Udna Data used to have a train station. Let me see if I can just find it for you. Oh, I've lost Udna Data again. Look, it's so bloody small. Look, you can't even bloody find it. No, that's a rock. Hang on. <laughs> hey. You know how you usually got Station Street, Smith Street, 2nd Avenue, 3rd Avenue, 4th Avenue? Check out the names of these streets in Udna Data. Check out that one. <laughs> They're all indigenous. You want to go to the Udna Data public camping ground? Isn't that exciting? <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, look, you're going to like it. Don't you love it? Look at this, look. How would you like to go there if it was a camping ground? Look, all that lovely yellow, red dirt. Now, to my new subscribers to the channel, on the Aboriginal flag, we have three colours. We had red, yellow and black. Well, give me a clue. Red is for the soil. Yellow in the middle round circle is what? And black on the top is what? I'll tell you what it means. Red for the soil, yellow for the setting sun, and black for the colour of the Aboriginal Indigenous people of Australia. That's right. Because it's the black people... Standing on the red sand, watching a yellow sunset. 
And there do you get the Aboriginal flag? You got to picture it. You get the red soil with the black man standing above it, watching the yellow sunset go down. And that's how they made their flag. Isn't that smart? Hmm. Let's go back to the song. Let's get back to the song. I like you do. The data road when along came the semi with a high and canvas covered load. If you're going to work in the data, mate, um, with me you can ride. So I climbed in the cabin and I settled down inside. He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand. I said, Right. So you want to see whether there's so much dirt and sand, or let's have a look. You, I think there's a lot of dirt and sand. What do you reckon? You think there's going to be a lot of dirt and sand out there going out there to earn the data? Ooh, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> oh, let's get out of earning the data. What's the next one? Oh, quick. Oh, oh. Now, everybody, you wave goodbye to earning the data. There it is there. Look, little tiny earning the data in South Australia. Right, there it is. Right there. Right? Now you watch it. You watch how big a city it is. <laughs> and don't forget to wipe the fly speck off the screen. Right? This is the dad. Look, he just wiped it off. Right? <laughs> he asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand. I said, listen, mate, I've travelled every road in this hill land. Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert's bare, man. I've breathed the mountain air, man. I've travelled, I've had my chair, man. I've been everywhere. Been to Tullamore, Seymour, Lismore. All right, let's go to Tullamore and Seymour. All right, you want to get in and have a look? Right, let's go find Tullamore. Here comes Tullamore. Look, see? Tullamore, right? There you go. Can you see it? Is that coming up on the camera? Yeah, Tullamore. There it is. Can you see it? Hang on. Where is it? Yeah, that's it there. That's Tullamore. <laughs> it's right down here, look. <laughs> it's an outback town. <laughs> Don't blink, you'll miss it when you drive through it. Right, see, look, there's Tullamore. See? Here. Multi-purpose health services. Get it? It's such a small town. Everything's there. Dental, hospital, medical, everything. There's that's all that's out there at Tullamore. And you think, where the bloody hell is Buddy Tullamore? I'll show you where Tullamore is. I'll guide you in where Tullamore is. Right, you ready for it? All right, where's the nearest biggest town? Oh, my goodness. How am I going to do this? Now, listen. Don't get Alawa mixed up with Alawa. Right, there's two different towns. There's two different towns. Oh, what's the easiest way to describe it for you? All right, let's tread over this way. Man, I should have my bloody glasses on. There we go. There's the easiest way to remember it. Dubbo. See, there's Dubbo Zoo. It's Dubbo City, right? So there's Dubbo City. So there's Dubbo. There's Tullamore. That's way down there, right? So that's in New South Wales. Right, let's go find Seymour. Yeah, and I'm not being funny. Let's go Seymour, get it? You're going to Seymour? Mm. Now, Seymour's down there in bloody Victoria. You know where all those Mexicans live? <laughs> sorry, Mexicans. I mean, sorry, Victorians. <sighs> we still love you. <laughs> well, there's Seymour, right? Now, you want to know where Seymour is? Well, you keep watching the map. See, there's, there's that little joint called Melbourne. 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 There's Seymour. And this is just why we're down here. Look who else is over here. Wangaratta. See? There's Wangaratta. All right, so now they come back down here. <laughs> That's where Wangaratta is. Man, check out the size of Wangaratta. 
Hey, you know what the problem is with Wangaretta? I'll show you. It floods. What? Yep, it floods. Because look, you look right in the heart of Wangaretta. There's a creek. <laughs> My mole creek. And it floods. And what the trap is, see, like I did, you come in here, you park in the park here one night, you go to have a sleep. Next year, you know, I wake up and you've got flood water all, all the way around you. Because <laughs> Victoria's so flat. See? So that's Seymour. Anyway, I'm not going to keep doing all this. Okay, Lismore, Northern New South Wales, Malulabad, North, Northern New South Wales. Oh, Malulaba is up there on the Sunshine Coast. Don't tell me you don't believe me. Oh, don't ever tell me that. Oh, let's go back to this one. All right, let's see how, let's see how quick I can do this. Right, I look. Here we go. Da, 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 da. See how quick I can go. Right. Just while I got it. There's Kulangata. The one right at the end of the song. See? Kulangata. Right now, Kulangata, that's right on the New South Wales Queensland border. Can you see that right there? It says New South Wales, and it says Queensland. That's where the COVID-19 barricade was, right up there, out here to Point Danger. And when you get up here to Point Danger, I made a video up there for Crude on Bear, and I accidentally deleted it. Anyway, silly on me. Doesn't matter. And there's a big, there's a great big tower up here somewhere. Where is it? Let's see, let's just even quickly pull it up. Rip, there it is. Point Danger. This is that great big funny looking thing that you always see on the news. You ever see about cool and gather in Queensland in Australia? This is that great big silly looking thing that you always see up there. Um, great big uh, sort of monument. Oh, where is it? Come on, get over there, Google it. Sit there. Bonk, put him over there. See? Now that says point danger, right? Now, where am I? We are standing in Queensland. See that great big thing up there? Look, so it says west, north, right. That's Queensland. Now, if it is there, you ready for it? You're about to cross over the border. Now you're standing, your leg on the left side is Queensland, and on the right side is New South Wales. So your body is now in two different states. That's Queensland, that's New South Wales. Right? So if you think you can't spread your legs between two states and breathe, you're wrong. There you go. You just went to New South Wales and Queensland at the same time. There you go. So that just saved your airfare all the way out here from Las Vegas. <laughs> now you're in New South Wales. <laughs> See? Boundary Road. It's not called Border Street. It's called Boundary Road because it's the boundary. And now that car there, he's coming up there in Queensland. Because this road over here, now I'll show you something very simple. This is what confuses poor old Americans, right? See the road colours? See the lines on it? See it's got the white lines? See the type of patterns they got? And they put the bicycle lanes over here, and they've got, okay, we drive on the wrong side of the road. Get that out of your brain. Just imagine that's one way street, so that doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't matter which side the other side of the road is, right? But see the colour of the roads, how they're painted? Right, now I'm going to teach you something here. So when you poor Americans come over here and get confused, and then you drive in New South Wales, and you say, ooh, why is it different driving in New South Wales? Well, look. We get a yellow line in a white line. But over there, they've got all white lines. So that's how you know you're in New South Wales, because you get a yellow line. Does that make sense? Let's go all the way down there. And 
if you haven't seen any news reports on the Coolangatta with the, um, yeah, look, you're driving straight down the New South Wales border. You would think you'd have to get on an aeroplane and travel all the way out here just to drive down the New South Wales border with Queensland right there. See, there's Queensland. Those pine trees are the border. That's right. That's where they plant all the pine trees. That's the border. I'm not pulling your leg. That's a Queensland border. A New South Wales border. And then when you get right up here, this is where they had the police barricades and it was on the news. And this is the Twin Towns Services Club. And many, 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 many years ago, see, this is where the barricade was. This is where the police sat here for two years with the Rabbit Barricade. That's Queensland. That's New South Wales. See? There's the border mark. There's the border pole. Right there. See that pole? That's the border. Right there. Now, a new, now you're going to think, oh, you're getting chased by a Queensland policeman and he can't give you a ticket if you get over the border. Well, guess what? He can. He can chase you for up to 12 kilometres. Yep. A Queensland policeman can book you in New South Wales up to 12 kilometres and the same thing with a New South Wales policeman can book you up to 12 kilometres into Queensland. See? And look what's right there. We're going to New South Wales. See? And that's right where the barricade was. Yep. Now, you want to see it on the news? Then we'll go back to playing the song. And moon bar. All right, all right. Okay, I say I say the tweet here. It's a big border lockdown from the COVID nineteen pandemic in Australia. Well, this is pretty close. Byron Bay, just down the road there from Coolangatta. So look, he's happy. He's got his. We just have like Matt Stone, Joe Barrett, uh, David Wall, David Lowe. We've got all this really cool food community, which I think people are infatuated with. Now. You want to hear that bit again? Here we go. Let's watch that little bit again. You ready? This is Byron Bay. This is where all the American celebrities are disappearing to. It's quite exciting. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it means a lot. And certainly not going to think that has, I mean, like... That's where Theo like, Hayes really disappeared. Now. I've got Venetia and Josh, and everyone's just sort of been waiting around and just sort of trying to survive. Um, but without the tourists, it's been pretty sketchy. So it'd be nice just to, you know, to be able to get the wheels turning and, you know, some money coming in to support small businesses and families and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, exciting times. It's going from zero to 100. They're saying a million visitors here yeah. over the next couple of yeah. months. What is it about Byron that is so magical and keeps people coming back? Yeah, I mean, for us personally, it's always been about the food. I mean, it's amazing food, seeing lots of next-gen farmers you know, there's brewers, distillers, cheesemakers. There's always sort of exciting network uh, in and around this sort of hinterland in the area. And also there's like, you know, awesome chefs moving now. Like we just had like Matt Stone, Joe Barrett, uh, David Wall, David. Like we've got all this really cool food community, which I think people are infatuated with now. So it's, it's, yeah, it's a good place to be. Let's trap yourself in. You are in for a wild <laughs> summer. Thank Thanks so much for your time. Lizzie, if anyone fancies a holiday here in Byron Bay, they better get in quick because spots are filling up until Easter next year. Tiff, that is good to know. you. But anyway, that's Byron Bay. You just so you don't know, if you don't know, a guy, a uh, Belgian backpacker disappeared at Byron Bay on the south side of Byron Bay headland at Cool Cozy Corner. Now, that bit of beach footage you've seen, that was on North Beach or in the north side of the headland. And because Miss Almanoy does water, you've got the beach, you've got the ocean, then there's the sandbar, and then there's a the big main north current. And that's what protects you when you go in there for a swim. There's a sandbar behind you before the big main north current. But when you go around the headland, the big main north current runs right against the beach. And that's where Theo Hayes, I believe, got washed in and never ever got found on the 1st of June 2019. So my big sympathies out there to, to the Hayes family from Belgium. I've done a story on it. It's down there on my channel, Mr. Hominoid. Go right in the bottom and follow it all the way up. I do the tide, the tide charts. I do everything. Trying to work out what happened to him. Anyway, let's get back on to the story. 
So T O Hayes. T H E O Hayes. H A Y E Z. Z, which is in America. We say Z. Z. Anyway, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. Opening of the um, roundabout. Ooh, sorry about that. Well, this is the news story one year ago with Cool and Gatta right here where the police barricades was. It was one year ago. You check this out. You're not going to believe this one. Talk about people up in arms. Whoa, baby. A long wall stretching almost one kilometre between Coolangatta and Tweed Heads is causing great frustration for residents. The barriers were put in place to stop rat runners, but locals say it's disrupting their daily lives. Carly Madsen is there. It's only been one day since the new wall was put into place and already it's causing pain for local residents. The 700 metre barrier runs through the middle of Dixon Street, dividing a residential community. It was put in place to stop cars sneaking across the border, but no gaps were left for pedestrians. A lot of elderly people live in this street. Can't get through to New South Wales, which is right here. It's creating um, a lot of divisiveness in the community and a lot of frustration. Residents who live on either side of the wall now have to walk around to access their local shops, doctor and even school. Many have resorted to jumping over, which police say is illegal. You can go down to the walkway there and just walk straight across the road in front of the police. You're allowed to walk across, you're allowed to walk backwards and forwards. They've made no arrangements for that with that wall. But police say the increased measures are necessary, with Victoria recording another 428 cases overnight. Isn't this bloody ridiculous? Are being sent down to help with the response. They brought the, the army in. To hours, uh, my, my now this is one year ago. Been going through a range of medical, welfare, administrative. Seventeenth of July, twenty twenty. To deploy to Victoria. Tonight and this weekend, officers will be cracking down on nightclubs across the state to ensure none are breaching social distancing requirements as seen on previous weekends. They are blatantly and knowingly um, flouting the law. We will take action. And police say they understand the frustration... Look great, eh? Hey? This is Australia. <laughs> border, but warn that um, these closures will yeah, stay you want to see where that was? ...for many more months. Right, let's have a look and see where that was. Let's turn our camera around. And it was right over here. Let's have a look. What did they say? Dixon Street, didn't they? I'll find Dixon Street. And that's boundary. I'll find it. Right, I found it. Right, I. That's where we were up there, Point Danger. And then we come down here along the New South Wales border. And there's the Queensland border over there. Well, Dixon Street is the other part of the funny point of the New South Wales-Queensland border. And what it does, it runs down over here. So there's Thompson Street, like Jack Thompson, the famous Australian actor. That's Dixon Street. This is where they barricaded it. So actual fact, it wasn't up there on the border, up there to the point, it was down here right in the heart of town where people had to go to the doctors over here or go to the doctors over there right in the middle of the town. So that's Coolangatta Beach there, right? And that's Point Danger Beach over here, which is New South Wales. That's where the big confusion was. Everybody thought they were talking about it on the news. It was up here. It's not. It's down here in the middle of town. And that's why when you have a close look, at the New South Wales Queensland border, and you go, you want something to do? You really want to learn about Australia? You go follow the New South Wales Queensland border. Look, it comes down to there, and then now look, it goes up there. It goes there through the park. Look, <laughs> because they had to work out a way where to put it so that there was a natural divide. So what they did. They used a, a natural rock face and then went right up through there. Look at that, see? See, that one there's called Binya Avenue. Is it Binya? Yeah, Binya Avenue. But <laughs> you live in Binya Avenue in Queensland and Binya Avenue in New South Wales. But see, look, 
their front lawn is New South Wales and the other half of their front lawn is Queensland. And Binya Avenue is in Queensland. Check that out. Want to have a good look? No, believe me. Have a gander at that one. Imagine having your front lawn halfway in New South Wales and Queensland. Does that blow your brain or what? <laughs> oh, man, we've got a working border. Oh, those Queenslanders. See, look, and therefore then, look, they made a road, a boundary, and then they mow it, and it goes all the way out here. Look, oh, mate, I could sit here for hours. And look, Hey, you like this? You got an airport in two states. <laughs> Coolangatta Airport is in New South Wales and Queensland. So if you fly up there from Sydney <laughs> over on the runway, you're in New South Wales. You're in Queensland. <laughs> uh, look, see. <laughs> Australia's crazy, man. It's crazy. Look, it's the only airport that's in two states. Uh, do you have do you have an airport in your country that's in two states? New South Wales in Queensland? <laughs> now you know why New South Wales people could not fly up the Tweed Eds because the majority of the airport was in Queensland and they weren't allowed to go there. So, say for example, you, you want to come over here and see Aunt Millie and Uncle Brian down here in New South Wales and there's there's Queensland there you you couldn't fly to Coolangatta Airport over here you had to fly all the way down here <laughs> all the way down here to Byron Bay right so there's Byron Bay there's that big ocean current I was just talking about and right there is where Theo Hayes, now, uh, out of respect for the uh, passing of Theo Hayes, go and have a look, T-H-E-O Hayes, H-A-Y-E-Z, I went up, all the way up there, I walked all the way right up there, and stood right there, and I travelled up there 900 and something kilometres to help solve the mystery of his death. Now look, See the rock face? And look how deep the ocean floor is. It goes way down. Way down. He didn't stand a chance. See, look. See the tragedy of it all? You see the waves are coming in and the water comes around and then the water gets sucked out here and he got sucked out all the way down there and he's gone. He's dead. Sorry to say, but that's...